CETA, the Comprehensive Economic and Trade Agreement. It's a complex name, but its effects will be simple, decisive, and ugly. When our government signed CETA this fall, the way we do business and the way we live will change forever, and it won't be good. CETA is another one of Harper's corporate rights pacts, essentially. He calls it a free trade agreement, uh, they call it an economic partnership agreement, but really it's about taking government out of our lives, taking options out of our lives, and handing those options over to multinational companies. So that can in involve uh, how we spend public money, if we're looking at the city level, uh, taking away our right to buy local. It's going to encourage privatization of water, of energy, and other public services. Um, it, it involves giving corporations the rights, as they have in NAFTA, to sue governments uh, for compensation when they feel that their profits are being undermined. CETA is a law that guarantees the right for corporations to make money, even if that means selling off our essentials to life, like water resources and food safety. CETA puts our lives in the hands of the lowest bidder, often a distant foreign company whose sole purpose is to turn a profit. Canadians in places like London, Ontario, are beginning to worry about CETA and about what it will mean for their local economies, their jobs, and the people who live and work in the community. Foreign corporations will be allowed to bid for our bus service, running the bus service contracts, running our London Hydro contracts, running our water contracts, and much more. And if they are able to put together the cheapest bids for the municipal government, the municipal government will have to take that bid and let them run those, even if we prefer public service. While some Londoners are in the know about CETA, it's an agreement that's mired in secrecy. Our government doesn't want us knowing what our lives will look like once CETA is a reality. These talks have been going on for three years, and they're trying to get them done as quickly and quietly as possible, precisely because when Canadians do find out the details, uh, for example, that CETA could increase drug costs in Canada by about $3 billion, uh, when they find out those details, they become upset and they start writing the letters and they start getting on the phone to their MPs and making a noise. CETA is another way for Harper to hastily sneak in binding changes before we can react. But there are other ways to be a profitable nation with a healthy economy and a population not scrambling to make ends meet. Our cities can create jobs by spending locally. They can protect the environment by spending locally and keeping services public. The Harper government doesn't like that. He's against that, those kinds of policies and CETA's a way to constrain cities and constrain provinces in what they can do.